All right, so we are going to go back to paired passages. And let me start off by saying what we are about to go over is going to be a part of your graded assignment today. So here are some free answers to your graded assignment. Let's make sure we take advantage of that, full advantage of that. Okay, the paired passages that we are going to read are titled Helping Hand, A Book for Jonah, and Fruit for All. Since I want you guys to get used to building your reading stamina and being able to read multiple passages at a time because we only have one more month before the star test. Star test is next month. I want you to build up that reading stamina and your ability to read uh, multiple passages in one sitting. You are going to read this on your own. I'm not going to read it to you during this comprehension lesson. I will give you a copy of it so you can do the reading for yourself. And then you're going to use what you read to answer the questions and to put those into your graded assignment. Okay, so again, what you're reading here is your graded assignment. So we are going to look at four questions and the um, answer choices I have highlighted, as you see here, every single sentence in each paragraph. And we are going to identify which highlighted portion helps us to answer our question and supports our answer. So number 23 reads, the reader can infer that people with busy schedules can still help fruit for all by what? So we're gonna go and read this paragraph, fruit for all. Fruit for all has a website that explains the group's goals, which is to inspire people to help. Visitors to the website learn three ways they can get involved. They can allow volunteers to pick fruit from their trees. They can volunteer to pick fruit. And they can start a fruit for all group in their area. People who are interested can also use the website to ask Zach and Jackson questions and post comments. So again, the question is, the reader can infer that people with busy schedules can still help fruit for all by A, starting a group in their own neighborhood. If they have a busy schedule, do you think they have time to start a group in their own neighborhood? Probably not. So A is not our answer. B, helping collect fruit from people who have extra. Is there anything in this paragraph that said anything about them helping collect fruit from people who have extra? blue, pink, green, or yellow. Do any of those say that? No, they do not. C, allowing volunteers to pick fruit from their trees. Is there any text evidence to support that? Our pink sentence says, volunteers to the website learn three ways they can get involved they can allow volunteers to pick fruit from their trees. That's what C says. We have the text evidence, it makes sense. We'll say maybe, because we still need to go and read our last answer choice. D, asking others to become volunteers. Is there anywhere in here that says anything about asking others to become volunteers? No, so we know that our answer here is C. So we will move our Circle to the letter C. Okay, now let's look at the next one. Number 24 says in paragraph two, the word initially means, so which colored sentence do we need to go and look at? Blue, we need to look at the blue sentence. So the sentence reads initially, it was difficult to find people who were willing to contribute to the fruit, contribute the fruit on their trees. So does this mean F at first? We need to go and plug that answer choice into the sentence to see if it makes sense. So at first, it was difficult to find people who were willing to contribute the fruit on their trees. Makes sense. So we can say that F is a maybe. G, carefully. Carefully, it was difficult to find people who were willing to contribute the fruit on their trees. Does that make sense? 
No. No, it does not. What about H? Always. Always, it was difficult to find people who were willing to contribute the fruit on their trees. Does not make sense. How about J? Without help. So without help, it was difficult to find people who were willing to contribute to contribute the fruit on their trees. It could make sense, but answer choice F definitely makes more sense initially means at first. So we move our circle to F. Next we have number 26. One problem Zach faced after he started Fruit for All was, let's read the paragraph. To make Fruit for All successful, Zach needed eager volunteers and trees loaded with fruit. Zach asked community members to call or contact him online to let and let him know whether they had trees with extra fruit. Initially, it was difficult to find people who were willing to contribute the fruit on their trees. But, but as news of Zach's idea spread, people contacted him. Soon, Fruit for All was really growing. So what was the problem that he faced? Is it the yellow sentence? The blue sentence? The pink sentence? Or the green sentences? Let's look at our answer choices. F, F collecting fruit from people who lived miles away. Is there anything that we read that says that he was trying to collect fruit from people who lived miles away? There's no sex evidence to support that. G, getting enough people to participate in his project. Is there any text evidence to support that answer? Yes, the pink sentence says initially it was difficult to find people who were willing to contribute fruit. So we know G could be our answer. H, finding enough time during the week to volunteer. Did any of this say Anything about finding enough time to volunteer? Any text evidence to support that? No, there is not. J, keeping up with information on the website. Is there any text evidence to support that answer? Nope, there is not. So our answer here is G with the text evidence. Same as the last one, last question. And lastly, we are going to look at number 29. So we know that in paired passages, we are going to be asked questions about the first passage by itself, then questions about the second passage by itself, then questions about both passages together, where we will be asked to compare and contrast. So the questions will ask us about similarities and differences between the two passages, okay? So this one is asking us, paragraph five of A Book for Jonah and paragraph three of Fruit for All are similar because the paragraphs, the word similar means the same. So let's go and read these two paragraphs. A Book for Jonah. So far, Chocolate Bar has raised several hundred thousand dollars. Dylan's goal is a million dollars. He gives all the money to the University of Florida College of Medicine, where doctors are trying to find a cure for this disease. Fruit for All. With the help, for, with the help of his brother, Jackson, and other volunteers, Zach has gathered and donated more than 70,000 pounds of fruit to local food banks. The group usually works on the weekends, and the volunteers travel as far as 20 miles for Zach's house. The, vo the volunteers usually gather about 500 pounds of fruit each weekend, but one weekend they collected over 2,000 pounds of fruit. So what are, how are these two paragraphs similar? A, they provide details about Dylan's and Zach's achievements. Achievements is like what they've done, what they've accomplished. Is there any text evidence to support that? In the two paragraphs, the greens will be paired together, the pinks are paired together, the yellows are paired together, and then there's only one blue. So when you're looking for your text evidence 
look at both paragraphs and both of the matching colors. Here we have in the pinks, so far, chocolate bars raised several hundred thousand dollars. And then the other pink reads, with, with the help of his brother Jackson and other volunteers, Zach has gathered and donated more than 70,000 pounds of fruit to local food banks. So that supports the answer choice A. Let's look at the others. Give information about how others can support Dylan and Zach. The second paragraph gave information about how Zach is supported, but the first paragraph did not talk, did not say anything about how Dylan is supported. So B is not our answer. C, describe how Dylan and Zach thought of their ideas. Nowhere in here did it describe how they thought of their ideas. So we know that C is not our answer. And then D, we can't see, maybe if I exit out of this. D says explain how other people learn about Dylan and Zach's ideas. Nowhere up here did it explain how people learned about Dylan's ideas. And then down here, again, it didn't explain how they learned about their ideas. It learned, just talked about how people were helping. So the answer here is A. So we will move our answer choice to A. So that was the last question that we are going to go over together. Again, these paired passages are your assignment for today. So I, we just went over four answer choices together. So just make sure that you either write them down or remember the answer choices that we selected. And then when you go to do today's assignment, you already have four of them completed. If you have any questions about today's assignment and how to find text evidence, please let me know. That is the end of today's comprehension lesson. Go ahead and move on to the word study.